for a minute or two. Plus MC Hammer tributes Tupac Shakur. I'm MC Light and this is VH1's Hip Hop Honors. Go to VH1.com for hip hop videos and stream the full performance of the Beastie Boys tribute to Run DMC Sucker MCs. The VH1 Hip Hop Honors is sponsored by Between stage, screen, spoken word, and hip hop has always been totally natural. The next OG paved the way for acceptance of rappers in Hollywood. He was always on point, but first off, he's the MC that really rapped for the West Coast. He's still macking like there's no tomorrow. Make some noise, please, for the player, Ice-T. I'm here to represent the gangster rap, the bastard son of hip hop, West Side. Now, before I get started, I'm gonna do a little experiment, see how much y'all know about hip hop, okay? If I say, throw your hands in the air, you say, now, if I say, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire, come on! There's some things in hip hop that are automatic. You dig? I rap, you react. It's the classic call and response. And back in the 1970s, the Hot Shot Party starter was named DJ Hollywood. He was one of the first MCs ever spitting his trademark sayings over soul instrumentals, okay? But way uptown in the boogie down, a Jamaican transplant was throwing some mean park jams his damn self. Make some noise for the one and only DJ Cool Herb. Perks from the old school soul R&B records that many of the producers today sample from. Check this out, players. We was doing something that nobody expected to go that far. That thought it would be a fad. Hip hop didn't spring up in 79. Hip hop got exposed in 79. I had no idea that this would be a whole culture. My love for the music was intense. My mother would have friends over to the house. It was my job to entertain. I knew how to pick those records that when they hit, people was like, oh, that's my record. I begged my father to buy me a James Brown album, Sex Machine. James Brown, all the Sex Machine. I fell in love with James Brown. That was the beginning. On the block, we was picking nicknames, so I picked Cool. The guy called me Hercules at high school. I went to the block and I asked him, what's the shortening for Hercules? They said, Herc. So I said, you know what? Put the two names together. Cool Herc. My name is Anthony Holloway, so Hollywood wasn't far away. My ears is my business, but my records are my tool. Everybody talked about Cool Herc. Drives up, big speakers roll out. It was like a legend. People knew he was coming. He was a template, the building block of street music. I'm going to put all these records together. I'm going right to the yoke. Go to a jam, a riff. That's what started up, you know, a break beat. And the rest was history. There's street old school, and it was club old school. My thing with hip hop was the voice. He played more quote unquote disco hip hop. If you he played over beats like that. It was so easy for me to incorporate me into the music. And he started to keep the people going. He would talk on the mic and play records. When I put this rap on top of it, women would go crazy. Hey, 
Let's get into it right now. Smack dead in the middle of your mind. Pick up your body. Get up out your seat. When we gave that block party, the first block party between the buildings, we couldn't come back. Every place I go, 17, 1,800 people filing in, ready to party. This is something that nobody expected to come up out of the ghetto. This is black gold ghetto steam, rap music, hip hop culture. To honor Cool Herc, his three of the greatest DJs to ever share the same sand. The one and only Grandmaster Flash, <laughs> DJ SNS, my white homie Kid Rock. And the world's greatest entertainer, Doug E. Fred! Yo, what's up, yo? I wanna know how many people out here love hip hop. How many of y'all love hip hop? Well, this here is dedicated to Cool Hurt and Hollywood. Y'all ready up there? Now taking this back to the old school, taking it to Union Square, taking it back to Harlem World. You know why? Because I was there. Peter the Potter in. What? 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 Two. Come on. Keep rock. Keep rock. One, two, three. Come on. Put your hands up. 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 When I say Holly, y'all say what?
Love you fresh. Kick it free. King Rock. Grandmaster Flash. We here. Don't miss Tracy Morgan, Reverend Al Sharpton, Nas featuring Olu Dara, MC Hammer, and the world-famous Rocksteady crew break it down live on our stage right here on VH1's Hip Hop Honors. Go to VH1.com for hip hop. I'm MC. Tracy, I remember back in the days I'd come up to the Uptown Comedy Club to yep. check you out. Pretty funny. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, when you used to come in, I used to get funnier because I always had a crush on you. Is that? I love oh. you, like. Well, I love you too, Tracy. Right on. I remember I had the bamboo earrings and you had the high top fade. See, <laughs> so you just made me pee on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Tracy Morgan. <laughs> World life. Now, I'm not going to say hip-hop has always been about gats and blunts. Some squares think that. But when I was coming up, it was about whether you had skills to rock a party, to say something, to spit a rhyme, and just get busy on the MIC. That's what hip-hop was up when I was coming up. It didn't matter if you had a video full of bling and ice and 40-inch rims for your joint. It wasn't about flossing with all these females with these fine booties and 